Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Keisha with Country Garden Oasis. For some of you, I haven't been on YouTube a lot because I have been on Instagram. Like every day, I find Instagram videos to be a little easier to make, but now I've gotten a system together, so I'm excited. I'll be posting more on YouTube. Um, I have my Pivo, so if you see me moving, everything's moving with me. It's exciting. So I don't necessarily need anyone to assist me in doing my videos because that was part of what was making things so difficult. So I want to talk to you guys about 2023. So those of you who um, are not my followers or subscribers, I want to introduce myself. I am Keisha with Country Garden Oasis. And I live in Connecticut. We are a zone 6B. So we do have winters, not very harsh winters, to be honest. We do sometimes get snow um, that can measure up to 20 inches, but um, it's rare. Um, what to expect for 2023? 2023, I am super excited because there is so much to do. Last year, we ripped up our yard. We have lived in this house for about 12 years, and um, we are on about an acre and a third. I think I'm getting that right. See, about an acre and a third, but it's a full sun garden. There are spots in our yard that have shade, but they're not, I can't do gardening yet. So I'll tell you more about that in a few, because I'm excited, because there's some things we're going to do that will allow me to have a shade garden, because I've never had a shade garden. So um, what's up for 2023? I wanted to talk to you guys about the major projects we have so you can follow along. My first video following this one is actually going to be a really fun video. Um, I'm doing a ginger grow along with my friend Lonnie on Instagram from Gingerfoot Gardens. I'm so excited. So I'll, do, I'll post that video following this one. Um, there'll be lots of seed starting. My hope is that I'll be able to do my cut flower garden on a larger scale this year and there's more to come on that. I will tell you all about it and I want you guys to follow along because it will be a journey. Um, but before we talk about the outside projects, obviously, um, I start my seeds inside and I did a rack and last year I showed how I did it. Once we move into the greenhouse, which is the next project, we're going to have to finish our greenhouse. Half the roof is on. I think I showed that um, earlier this month. Um, that's going to be a game changer for me because that will allow me to make my jungle a little bigger. Right now, I'm stuck in my at-home office and it is overrun with plants, but that's okay. Um, along with the greenhouse, I'm super, super stoked because I have never done window boxes. And the way I have my greenhouse set up, I'll be putting two new window boxes in. I'm so excited. And the way the building is, um, we it created a shade area. So on the right-hand side of our greenhouse is very shaded because it's a lean-to. We built it onto the back of our covered patio. So that will be interesting. My kitchen garden that everybody is, has given me so many compliments. Everyone has been so gracious, so wonderful. There's the Instagram version and then there's the real version. I still have a lot of work to do, like to fill in a lot of the gravel to finish it out. Once the fencing up, I need to finish my um, the mulching by the arborvitae. So there's tons of stuff. And of course, we're going to plant this year. There's so much to plant. Um, we'll be doing a fence because we put a pool in last year. And um, as a result, we do have to fence our yard. So that is now going to give me the opportunity to create more garden spaces. One of the ones that I'm mostly looking forward to is I'm going to do a seating wall. So anybody that follows me, you see when I do, I have this little, I call it my lollipop garden. It will be something similar to that in terms of the seating wall, but it will be a much bigger garden. Last year I did a <laughs> cut flower garden. I, I was testing what the soil over there was like. 
It's just more so for me to see how it would do because our property has a lot of clay soil. So I was worried, do I need to bring soil in? So I tested it and it did really, really well. So that's a major project that we're going to be doing. We're going to be building a storage area. As we fence the yard, as we, we sat and as we were doing all these projects and after you garden and you, you have different projects going on, you realize that you don't have adequate space for a lot of things that you need to store. And I garden a lot. So like I have soil, like right now at the end of the season, if anybody doesn't know this, I buy up most of my soil at the end of the gardening season. So last year I went to Walmart. Walmart has a phenomenal sale at the end of the season, but they're just stockpiled right now, right next to the greenhouse. It's a construction site, so it's okay. But once we finish everything, it's just not going to look appealing. So there's an area off to the right of the vegetable garden that we've designated that we want to um, make our storage area. But of course I'm gonna make it pretty and I'm gonna have more raised beds in there. Don't tell my husband, but yeah, that's the plan. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's gonna be pretty cool because it will help to keep us organized and then everything will have its place. So I'm looking forward to that. It may not be flowers, but it will help. And then I'm gonna create a, a garden right in front of that storage area i want to do a roses rose trellis i don't know for some reason i tried the arbor last year i'm not really a fan i love climbing roses so one of the things i'm thinking about is to have um a lattice type um trellis that sits right behind this bench and i want to have climbing roses going up and um hydrangeas on the side the other big thing I want to do this year, I don't know if I'm bold enough to do it. I've been trying to find espalier trees, apple, pear. I can't find them in my area. So I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos and I love YouTube because so many videos are out there. So much education's out there. And I watched this guy that was showing you how to do it yourself, but you just have to have patience. That's one of my biggest problems. That's why I don't show most of my yard because last year it was all torn up. It was a construction site. I'm like, when is it going to end? But I've learned that it gives me great joy when I can see me putting something together from start to finish. So I may um, do the espalier project myself and see how it is. So for anybody that doesn't know what that is, I want to enjoy my fruits. But when you grow fruit trees, they can either grow really tall, but I don't want to create like shrub-like fruit trees because you can prune them to stay small. Um, I want a clear view of where I'm putting them and that's the best place to put them. So doing espalier, it, and I, I'll throw a picture up. It allows you to have them more alongside your fence and it's like an arm. So picture this and it's fruit growing on each of these arms, you could do three tiers and the plant is focused mostly on growing the fruit. Um, as I mentioned, I want to expand um, my cut flower garden. Um, I do a very small garden right now. I did one in the corner where I'm putting the seating area, but more to come if I can pull it off, it's gonna be fantastic. I'm going to be building a retaining wall because we have, where we have our pool, it's like a dead drop off. It gives me more gardening space and it's a full sun area. I have this amazing idea. So of course, everything we do is DIY. So we'll be tackling that project. We may need some help because it's quite a big space. And if I can pull that off, it's going to be phenomenal. It's gonna be beautiful. So um, those are the projects I am working on or thinking about for 2023. And there'll be more because as you walk around your property, you realize there are things that, see how my people is moving with me? Isn't that cool? Guys, check it out. It's, it's a great tool. Um, they got me, my son and my husband got it for me for Christmas along with my power planters. Oh, how could I forget? I cannot wait to use this. 
I have very small augers, the power planter augers that I got. I'm so excited. I can do gallon pots now all by myself. I won't have to ask anyone for help. It's a game changer. So um, with that said, I look forward to our adventure for 2023. There's lots to do. There's lots of fun we're going to have. We're not necessarily going to be cute in the house. We're going to be dirty. So follow along. Please like, subscribe. Come on this journey with me. There's tons to do. I can't wait for you guys to see it all. I'm learning. I follow a lot of gardeners online. I'm sure I'm not an expert, but I'm sure you'll pick up a thing or two from me because on Instagram, people send me messages all the time. Oh my God, I, I learned how to do that from you. And that is fulfilling. That makes it all worth it. So again, thank you so much for watching and have a great